hi guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute so baby girl is a month old now so we've just been trying to get into a routine with everything and just get used to being a family of four because it's so different i just recorded some content and took it over to the brand and now i'm about to wash my hair because you guys it's been i don't want to say how long it's been since i washed my hair ah. <laughs> But it is so needed right now. We finally, finally, finally got, um, we finally got my baby girl. A circle. <laughs> Good job. We finally got my baby girl to like go on the swing because she has not been wanting to be put down. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm gonna wash my hair. I need to get some um like scalp exfoliating oil um i have some i need to find out where it is because i don't know where anything is but i'm going to be using that and leaving it on my scalp and then detangling my hair i don't know if i'm gonna record that because you guys see me do that like over and over again yeah so i'll be back when my hair is um together so this is from bread you can use this as an overnight exfoliator and then wash your hair the next day or you can put it on specific areas that just feel like they need to be refreshed. I got this today and it is an electric breast pump. The other one I have goes into the wall, so I'm like excited to use an electric one and he's helping me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that is the charger um, that comes with hands-free pumping bra and then hold on slide it out <laughs> there we go and then these are the flanges so the lactation lady at the hospital told me that i need size 21 flanges if i want to pump correctly this is a 24 Oh, this is a 21. Okay, so I only have, so they only gave me one 21. We have the little bottle. I'm actually gonna be using Nook bottles because I noticed that that is one that she will drink from, unlike her brother who did not want to drink from any bottle at all. This is important. This is very important because if you are pumping with the wrong size, your boobs basically won't pump out as much milk as it possibly can because incorrect sizes makes it pump incorrectly. So yeah, a bottle, nipple, and the stuff that comes with it. We have this and, okay, so you turn it on and I can instantly feel it pulling. So I can walk around with this like in my pocket. <laughs> All right, so this is this is it. Okay, what's up guys? Um, so now we are at the studio. Bae's about to take some pictures. Um, he has a client and you know the fam just came with him. Um, so I'm about to put the baby in the little boppy thing. I, that's milk, don't, that was milk. I was feeding her in the car. Um, but I was sweating too, it's so hot outside. I'm gonna put baby in the boppy so I can walk around with her and be a little more free. And then we have this little munchkin here who is just um, climbing onto everything. Jelani? Sit. Yeah, you're gonna sit? Say hi. Hi. He's busy. <laughs> He's busy. What's up, y'all? and I was definitely late to my appointment. But my midwife, uh, she was nice, she still saw me. And yeah, so everything is all good. We reached six weeks, you guys. I'm so yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. What's up, guys? 
<clears throat> I know we just popped up out of nowhere, but we're at the park right now. Good morning, guys. Another day, another vlog. I got to give Jelani some yogurt to get the day started and a uh, almond butter sandwich. He loves the almond butter. I ended up replacing um, peanut butter with almond butter because we used to use the Jif peanut butter, but they had a recall. So I don't know like what's going on with that, but they had a recall. So now um, I've tried this almond butter. Let me show you guys. So this is the almond butter. Um, Jelani seems to really like it, and my husband said that it's not that bad. Um, as for me, I don't really know what I'm gonna eat yet. Um, yeah, but my sister is coming over today. She is having her eighth grade graduation tomorrow. I'm so excited for her. I can't believe she's going to high school. I'm gonna cry. She was just a baby. My baby, my first baby. <laughs> She's coming over here hang out. I'm gonna do her nails and straighten her hair. She wants her hair straightened. So there goes my daughter. <laughs> with myself like should I wait for the urologist okay because I didn't update you guys so basically what the doctor wants to do is wait for a urologist um, on Monday and then um, let them examine him and then determine what they need to do um, I I don't know she was saying like oh he's not like in a lot of pain and she doesn't see like a huge swelling and stuff like that but i don't think that you're supposed to feel um any like pain at all with the um inguinal hernia so the fact that he does feel pain when like we're changing his diaper or um giving him a bath um makes me uncomfortable so um i'm gonna come to the conclusion i can't even talk i'm gonna come to the conclusion that um i should take him to the er and let them check him right away because 
waiting for them to contact me on Monday and let me know if they should see him is like a lot. And then um, Zarya also has an appointment on Monday. So I don't know like what we're supposed to do with the back and forth. And then, you know, she's getting her two month checkup. <sighs> I don't know my brain is like in scrambles right now um but what i'm thinking is that i'm going to take him to the er i'm going to let them check him and if he does need to do the surgery asap i want to do it today um i just don't want him to be in any pain and then with an inguinal hernia it could turn into something else where um the blood circulation is being cut off of your intestine and basically that part will be dying it's like having a scrunchie stuck to your wrists for too long or um a rubber band or a wedding band that is like squeezing your finger like that's basically what could happen that's not what's happening to him right now right now his intestine is basically just um like there's like a a triangle triangle hole like I, she tried to explain it to me i get the gist of it i hope i'm explaining it right um but if not i'll put it like up on the screen here somewhere but basically um his intestines are like through a little hole now and they're hanging like by his uh testicles not his whole entire intestines obviously but a part of it which makes it uncomfortable it doesn't really cry over like um pain if that makes sense he cries when his feelings are hurt so like if you take a toy from him or tell him no he'll cry over that but sometimes he'll fall and like he just like kind of like gets back up and you know he's hurt like you can tell like oh he fell on his knees you know and he's just kind of like la 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 um but uh when we're changing his diaper he's kind of like no that worries me because if you are no 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 that means that you're in a lot of pain to me as a mom so yeah that's what we're getting ready to do so i think it's like 11 a.m right now everyone's still sleeping i think <laughs> everyone might be up soon or i'm gonna get them up because the anxiety is really getting to me <laughs> um yeah, so I'm going to end this here, and um, I will see you guys in the next video, and let you guys know what's happening. <laughs> Bye.